Hi everyone and welcome back to our series of British birds. Yes, British mm -hmm. birds. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of an outlier. <laughs> you could say that. I've, I've been commissioned to paint a painting that's got 12 birds on it, 11 of which are British, and then this fella. So um, I've got to do I need to familiarise myself with him before I actually put him onto the onto the commission so it's going to go in the series of British birds what else can I do I have uh, he looks fairly easy this guy looks like black and white but I get the impression that I'm going to have to do little bits of shading and whatever which hopefully won't be the longest job in the world I have put myself um blend started with ultramarine um and titanium white so we've got a bit of a blend going on it's not the most obvious of blends but it's it's fine you usually see penguins against either snow or sky so make your mind up what this is um one or other sky in my mind and i have transferred the pertinent features i think time will tell onto here so I'm ready to get started and I'm going to start with his head because it's the bit that's got the most detail in. Uh, I've got myself a cup of coffee today so I'll be taking regular sips from that. Sorry if it's offensive. Um, the colours that I've got are titanium white, bone black, Mars black, Hansa yellow, this goldy colour, um, iron yellow it's called it's a it's an airbrush color i just want it because it's a liquid um titanium buff i've also got out my yellow ochre and that's that's all i've all i've got out. i have also got um titanium white as a heavy body here just in case sorry just crashed the thing um and i i think that's all we need as I say, time will tell. So I'm going to make a start on on his beak because um, that's a fairly obvious colour and it's it's orange really. So I'm going to see if I can get away with this colour which I think I probably can. If you're using liquid paints, you know, the golden uh, high flow or airbrush inks or any, any inks have w inks whatever um make sure that you shut the lid once you've opened it and got out your paint because the next thing you do when you come to pick your paint up is shake it and if you haven't shut the lid you're in for a bit of a nasty shock um and it'll take ages to get up because it's uh, acrylic so what brush am i going to use today well i reckon let's just make a start with the angle shader i've just finished painting um, an owl so my brushes are I've washed them out but they're still a bit wet so let's go into there load the brush up and let's see about putting his beak in oh, that's not so clear when I'm close up but it comes from there wow this is very very fluid I'm going to have to use a different paint because this is almost it's almost too fluid and my brush is damp as well which isn't helping much so I'll just wipe that up and I'll use a I use a different yeah no I mean I've got this which isn't a million miles away uh, I just thought for the tiny little bit that was his beak it might be easier to do it in a fluid acrylic but the airbrush um, paints are so thin. They're very highly pigmented and they're lovely to use, but they're very, very thin. So let's, I'm just going to have to water this down. This is fairly typical of acrylics. You get them too wet, too thick, too dry, whatever. Um, but, you know, we persevere because we love them. And it comes along to about there and that's kind of where it stops. I 
think. I think that's right. It's very difficult when you're transferring really small things to get them exactly right. So I'm going to put his eye in now and I'm going to put it, his eye is black. The rest of him is black, so it's quite difficult to see um, where one thing ends and another begins, to be honest with you. Let's get a tiny brush, this one. Let's let down a bit of this black with a bit of water. I'm going to put his eye in. Which have a good look at your reference picture because it's quite easy to think his eye is somewhere else on this painting. Right, now I'm going to leave that to dry because I need to put some sort of bone black or, or a grey around it um, and I don't want to lose it in the melee of blackness. So let's just work on his beak a little bit. It comes down from his head and along. And it's got quite a hook on this beak. I guess getting through fish is, you need a bit of a hooky beak. And he certainly has one. And that comes up from below that, um, the orange. means on there. I mean there's not too many details on this penguin so we might as well aim for getting them all right. Now I've just paired back into that orange bit because I I think I've made it too too thick. So we'll put all this as black at the moment, although it actually isn't, it's got grey bits on it. They're just catching the sun, I guess. Um, but help to give it some dimensionality. Right, there we are. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Don't be silly. I uh, wouldn't let you off that easily. Right, so let's follow on round, round his head till we come to uh, where the white joins in, which is down here. Now let's just have a look at that part of his beak, make sure we've got it right. I, th I think it comes more like that. I'm happy with that. And... Let's just see what we're up against here. This comes up and round. And it goes into there. And this comes round to meet that. So, right, okay. I'm blocking in with the smallest brush in the world. To be honest, I really want to get this these lines of his head right because as I say, there's not that much else that distinguishes him. I think he needs to go up just a touch more there. The thing about the transfer paper is it's only as good as the transfer you do. So you know, if you've wandered offline somewhere, then that's what you're going to transfer. And, it, you know, it's really easy to wander offline. Really, really easy. So I think I could probably um, block all of this in. I could probably block it in with my three-quarter um, quarter inch angle shader. But I don't want to get too near that eye. But let's, let's see what we can do. This is an emperor penguin, which I think is the sort of penguin that, you know, if you asked a child to draw you a penguin, I think this is the one that they would come up with. 
it's you know it's a really lovely statuesque bird so I'm just going to try and leave a ring around that eye so as I can see where it's where it's going I might just go back to my little brush just go back to my little brush because I can't get the can't get close enough there without going over it and I don't want to do that so I'm just going to leave a little ring around his eye Um, primarily so I know where it is but it does have this tiniest of sort of grey ring around it so I'll leave that to dry and I'll put the beak in again oh I like this it's looking like a penguin already um, so I'll just use a bit of that it's quite got that quite watered down probably a bit too much just put another layer of that in because needs needs two layers okay I think is that okay yeah Right, so let's move on to the grey around his eye. For that, I'm going to use bone black. You've seen me use this before. It's just not the jet black of carbon black or Mars black. Um, it's a kind of um, grey, more charcoal-y. I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit of this white in case I need it, which I probably will. That looks... A little bit too dark for what I have in mind, but that's probably fine. It's not, you know, it's not bright white or anything. That's probably ideal, um, and it really just goes in tight to his eye, and you can barely see it. So if you can't really see it, don't worry, because in nature you can barely see it. I'm going to need another layer of that. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's all right. Now, there are two other markings on his head that I think are just the shape of his head. It's just the way that the sun's uh, catching it. But we'll put them on. I'm having a full day of painting today, so I've got to get my coffee in where I can. <laughs> So this one comes up from his eye and it's sort of a, a crescent shape. And I guess it's just where his head dimples back. Where the, the beak sort of starts from. Like that. Hard to see. I know that's hard to see. And there's another bit that's just a bit brighter. Still grey. Um, but it's just a little bit brighter. And it goes there. Okay, I'm happy with that. I might just put a little bit of light into that. It's almost impossible to see that one. There, so, the, you know, they're not earth shattering, but they are there, so um, I think we should put them in. I think I'm going to concentrate on putting the white in because it looks to me like the black goes over it. No, I'll put the black in. I'm enjoying putting the black in. I've got it out, so let me just um, zoom out so you can see what he looks like. Right, and for the top bit, I'm going to use my um, little fine brush again and the proper black, not the uh, bone black. 
think I need to use this to get to get all the detail uh, the the line to get the proper line. So I'll just fill that bit in while I'm here. I could do that with an angle shader, I'm sure. What else have we got that's blocked? There's a line around this. Tempted to call it arm because they look like they've got arms. Mm. It's just all the way around. Let's pop that in now. I don't think it's any thicker or more detailed than that. I think that's it. Now let's have a look at his feet. Let's have a good look at his feet, in fact. Right, well, his feet seem to be black. Uh, the reason I was hesitating there was this was something behind his feet, and I was just checking it wasn't a baby penguin, because I know that the daddies do incubate the babies. I can't actually see my, um, my transfer in here very well. It is straight across the bottom. And his feet are black. It seems to go fairly straight. I think this is a good one for you to start with if you're um, a beginner. I'll let you know more when it's finished if it's turned out to be a right pig or not. But um, I'm not foreseeing too much trauma with this one. I have had trauma. <laughs> I've had lots of trauma painting things, but I think this bit, this one's going to be all right. I've got a good feeling. There's his feet. I'm quite happy with that. They look all right to me. The sort of grey regions. And longer feathers, really, I think, probably. But as for the black, that's us done with that. Um, right. So we'll just carry on with this black. Um, but I'm going to use my quarter inch angle shader because we'll be there for a long time otherwise. I'm just going to put this outside line. This angle shader is getting really tired and uh, it's got bristles sticking out of it, which don't help. Don't fall down, don't drop them. Ooh, to there. Ooh, I wonder if I can get that off. Just gonna have a look at how far down that goes because now obviously I've washed it off. I can't see. It's amazing, isn't it? Even like that, you know it's a penguin. Some of the birds that I've been doing, blame me, up until the last couple of strokes, you haven't got a clue what it is. A bit like Rolf Harris. Can you tell what it is yet? Yeah, that's a bit better. I can see what's going on. Where's my brush here? Just never miss them because they have the um, propensity to dry up, as you know. So there's a line that comes up here where one bit's his body and the other bit's his arm. Wing. Whatever. Not 
sure how far it got gone, it's not very far. And it comes up into here. No, not there. It doesn't go there. Let's see if I can just wipe that mark off. That's fine. I mean, it's not as if it's not getting a coat of paint on afterwards. It's uh, just why make work for ourselves. We don't have to. Let's work with that, like that. Oh yeah. So how much more black is there on this? Not actually seen any. Have you seen any more black on this, isn't it? Okay. Excellent. I got out loads of black because I thought I was going to need it, but transpires. I didn't. Right, so seeing as I've got the bone black out and the white, I'm going to put these markings, um, these markings here, that sort of partly down his back and partly on his wing. So it's a little bit of white, a little bit of the bone black. Let's give us a bit of grey. As I say, it's not bright, um, but it's there. And this is the line that comes down here. And then it's just little bits of shading, really. Get good shading with your finger, you know. that down a bit with my finger and that's looking quite nice like that there's another little bit of shading at the back of his neck there um, but it's a bit lighter than that so it's just in there okay uh, there's a dark grey in there, so I'll put that in there. Not sure exactly what it is, but do penguins have tails? Yes. Well, then I think it's part of its tail. And then his legs form his the rest of his tail, whatever. Let me just put the rest of his tail in there now because it's this sort of grey kind of colour. As soon as I've got that on the on the brush, I might as well just put it in. It's normally the hard line between those. So that's fine. Yeah, that's alright. The rest I can cover when I when I'm doing the white. So I guess the next thing to do pretty much is, well, I could go all white and then put the shading in after. I go down to about here, which is kind of where the end of the shaping is um, with white and then go back and put that in. See how this fluid wants, oh, wants to cover beautifully. That's so nice. Right at there. I'll just draw the lines in that I've transferred. That'll make it so much easier. 
and you won't be worried about going over them either. Won't come into here. Plating down into that shadow that we, we put in. I'm going to do this with an ambo shader, although I know full wall I should go to a smaller brush. There's quite a bit of colour going on in here, so um, I don't get right into the black edge, it doesn't really matter. So comes down to about here, the shading. Actually, this is drying, it's telling me it needs two coats. So um, I'll go on and give it all a, a, a first coat. can see that with another coat it's going to be perfectly fine. Um, it's just quite a blue colour for it to be. Uh, let's have a look at what that foot's doing. Yeah, it's quite a blue colour for a white to cover in one coat. We do want it nice and even because that's what he's all about. Oh, I was thinking that's not right because he's got his legs here. Hmm. We'll just get him a coat of white and then we'll let it dry. Then we'll come back and give him another coat. This here is grey, um, the inside of this army bit. It's a light grey, but it is grey. So I might as well put it in as grey. Might have to come back and go over it with white, but it's certainly not as white as his body. So it's just his feet really to address. Um, just nip that out. It's just a little bit of, of white really that goes up there. I'm just going to touch into the grey. Just really so we can see where they are when we come to put the shadow on. So that's fine. And the other one is similar. The light's hitting it that way. Light's coming from here. Just a bit of grey there. And it comes over to, you know, a bit whiter over here. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to leave that to dry. I'm going to finish my coffee and then I'll join you again in a minute. Well, you should have stuck with me, guys, because um, 
the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me while I'm painting has just happened. My hairdryer blew up. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it didn't blow up. It just made a sound and then it smelled very hot. So I switched it off and I put it down here on top of the towels that I use um, to wipe my brush on. Anyways, I could smell it. It was getting hotter and hotter and hotter. So fortunately, um, you know, we acted on the fact that it shouldn't be smelling like that. And it's now uh, cooling down before it goes in the bin. So that's uh, that was the excitement and you missed it. Sorry about that. Right, so I'm quite happy with this. I think his beak needs just another little bit um, of reinforcement with that bright colour. I'm going to put out some of this fluid yellow. Um, oh yeah, I am. I am, but I'm just going to do his beak. But we might need this backup air dryer. The backup hairdryer is my hairdryer. It's a hairdryer I use every day. And I don't want to relinquish that, but I might have to. But I couldn't, that's true, I could make my hairdryer the paint dryer and get a new hairdryer. That'd be nice. I could do that. Or you could just blow on it. <laughs> I could just blow on it. Yeah, I could. Right, so I'm mixing a bit of that yellow uh, ochre with this answer yellow fluid just to give me a bright colour. He's coming out with a hot air gun now. Oh yeah, I can't see him but I just think that's what he's doing. Yeah, so that's a, I like that, it's brighter, it's a brighter colour. And it's in the right place, so that's great. Yeah, that's that'll, that'll good. Work. Let me have a look, I'll show people what I've so I've got a hot air gun that I use for crafty projects. Um, and it's not like an industrial heat gun that gets roasting hot. It does get warm, but... Um, on that, one sitting. Yeah. On the one sitting. Yeah, that'll fine. be fine. Just for today. Yeah, just for today. Till I get onto Amazon like Prime. you a new... <laughs> Quick, sell some paintings. Um, I'm just going to do this little bit up here. And then I'll put the white over and around it. Just seat these back into it first. This is a nice bright bit here. Doing that. I've got the fly again. And just a little bit here on just there, actually. Just like when we're blocking all the time. You see me do this all the time. If there's parts of something that need shading and they need sort of set back, we put them in first when we're doing our blocking in. Then we can put the, the colour either over the top or up to it. Right, so th there is more shading on that, but I'm just going to ignore that for the time being. There's also an area here which is white. Actually I shouldn't really ignore it because I'm just making work for myself. Um, I'm going to get some titanium white out because it's more creamy this top part of his chest. And then it goes into a really bright white patch where the sun's obviously catching it along here. And then the rest's white I would say, pretty much white. So let's, I'm just going to mix in the tiniest, tiniest bit of that yellow mixture we had, the Hansa yellow and the yellow oxide. Just give us a little bit of a slightly off-white colour. Yeah, I think that's fine. And basically that's... Yeah, that, that's a good colour. I think that'll dry back all right. So we'll just feather over there. So you can still see it, but... Yep. It's doing the job. 
Only really when you stare at this penguin can you notice that these things are going on. I'm not sure where this goes. I, I transferred that mic, but it's disappeared. It's quite dark up into his throat. Pointing into that bit there. I think it comes up quite high this bit here, so I'll say it comes to there. It's just the way the sun's catching it really more than anything. I don't think he's got this so many colours in him. I'm just gonna have to move to my titchy brush to get up into there. It's coming back down into those shadows, the shadow area that we made. I'm just biting into this area too, so we don't end up with just a straight line. Gonna have to go back over those areas again with the yellow, the bright yellow, because as they're drying, they're drying down, um, which isn't helping our cause. So the next um, color that I need is this bright, bright white along here. I came across a paint company the other day that do a crystal white. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Crystal white. Um, I didn't order any, I thought I was really tempted. So let's... Sounds like a good stripper name. Yeah, Crystal White. Are you familiar with many strippers' names? Only about half a dozen or so. Oh, really? So this is this white area here. Really, really, really white. It just sort of melds in, really. It's not this easy brush sideways on. And tuck it into that bit that we've just done. Just so there's not a really definite line. That's fine. That's good like that. Uh, so, what was I? So, what you been up to anyway, Mister Fix It? Out and out. Surprisingly little. Oh, that's not a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's definitely not a surprise. It's amazing, isn't it, how quickly the days go. And when you look back at what you've done, <laughs> not really done a fat lot. That's the problem with having a worn brush. You get blinking, erroneous bristles. That is not a stripper's name. I wouldn't have thought erroneous bristles, would you? <laughs> I would have think that's probably something you really do want to avoid. <laughs> I'm looking for another angle shader. There's got to be one somewhere. I thought I had a new one somewhere. Uh, what's that? A brand new one! Hooray! Look, I'm unveiling it for the first time. Oh, joyous, joyous. They all come with a bit of dressing in, so just uh, get rid of the dressing first. Wow, can you draw straight lines and everything? I think in my opaque titanium white, 
it's not as opaque as I'd like it to be. I certainly don't feel inclined to put three coats on. What does he look like on the screen? He looks like a penguin. Right. Obviously the bottom on well the pink and yellow is slightly darker than the white line. across his chest. That's good. Well, it will be when she's in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment he's white from his chest down, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at these feet again. Let me get down a bit of mist, that's fine. Um, and actually in the in this arm it's it's got a little bit of this colour in. So I'll just put that in now and then it's done. And I want to leave it not exactly tidy. Um, so I'll let that that's fine. Uh, and this grey that we put in over here. It's now disappeared. So let's put that in again. I have to put it in a lighter colour. There's a line up here. And then this bit here has got a bit of shading on it. As has this bit here. fine I think. I think that's all right. Um, so there's the dark grey in between his legs. A bit too dark. Right, so we can probably start putting some shading on these. There's, there's quite a bit of white on them. Um, I can't remember now whether I put them in in white and it's just faded off, or I put them in in a different colour. I can't, I can't remember. So this side here is in shade, down to there, and then it's quite bright white. And then it falls away into shade again. But it's still white over his feet. Yeah. There's a dark bit. Just there. And then we're back into the whites again. Um, and this part here is very white. So obviously, as I said to you, the light's coming this way. And there's a nice little bit of quite light bits here, but put them in in white. Won't do any harm. Mix in with the grey we've just put in, which is nice. Um, so this is a grey. And the grey's disappeared. Too near the colour of his uh, tail to make it a bit lighter. So it's just the other side of his leg, that's all. It's just that it's in shadow. Like that. So what you do to one, you should do to the other. So I'll put these other shady side of his other leg in. 
fair enough, starting to make a bit more sense now. I might even have to put that bit between his legs slightly, slightly darker again. It's, it's getting mixed up, it's his tail, but it's getting mixed up with his feet. Yeah, this bit here. It's hard to read the way it was. Um, then we've got the bit of white that is his tail, but it's grey as well. It's a whole grey fist. Just grab some white. Liquid white's probably best. Let that mix on the canvas. Like that, um, and then there's some grey down here. There's a lot of grey is going on. It's too dark, but I'll just knock it back where it is. Okay, well that's what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. I think this white actually probably travels a bit further. Further back. Okay, well, I might have to come back to them anyway, but the basics are there, uh, really. So let's get a quarter inch angle shader, go for this again. In, in white because it's just not playing ball this bit here wants to be very 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 white so let's see how white we can get it Just give it a quick coat, it's worth it. It's worth doing it because it's only going to annoy you later on if you didn't. When you're sitting looking at it, you'll just be annoyed. So just spend a little time covering up that blue. Okay, I think that's probably it uh, now. <laughs> he looks just a mass of white when you look at him on the uh, on the monitor. So I think what we need to do now is really uh, concentrate on the shading. We've got him in pretty much um, how he is. I'm just going to take my little brush and that mark that's on his face under his eye just needs to be a little bit lighter. Put that in there on the sure and certain knowledge that it will fade back. You watch it won't this time. Uh, no, it will. They always do. So there's some shading up here that's grey. Let's put the highlights in again though. Let's put the, the yellow. I'm just, I'm just going to use the yellow ochre. I think it's probably a better colour for us. Let's just put that in again. Because it's quite a part of these emperor penguins, the orangey bits that they have. Let's give it a sort of dim colour there. Yeah, I think the yellow ochre is a better colour. So let's mix up some yellow ochre with some, use my old quarter inch, some yellow ochre with some uh, titanium buff. You 
think just about see that. All I'm doing is yellow ochre and titanium buff, a bit more. Yeah, that's a nice sort of creamy, creamy colour. Let's put this in again. There's certain areas that are brighter than others. That's bright there. It's bright here. I'm not sure I like this colour, I think it might be just a bit too dark. Actually, let's get a bit of these black off now. I think it'll be alright if we let that dry and then come back in with the white, I think we'll be fine. Now we need to find a grey for this region here. Um, we've got some grey here but not very much. Let's see what that looks like on. This white is still very, really tacky. It goes up into that. That colour there. Comes, comes down quite a way actually. Just brush it out, almost dry brush it into his body. It's a good shadow there. Mm. Oh, I need to get a little bit more robust at the top. Fair enough. Um, it's a little, little bit above his feet here. Let's dry brush it in. Don't forget the lights come from this area. So you want this side to be darker if anything. Not very many other shadows around, really. Let's just mix a bit of white into that, so we've just got a bit of a sort of off-white colour, slightly grey. Examples. No, it's very white. Very grey. I mean, not white. Just a little. Turn the brush off, put it in, put it across. There we are, I think I think we're not doing so badly. Make that one quite so dark. Any way different? Yep, that's fine. Now then, um, a bit on his, on his face. Like I said, we'll dry, dry back hasn't dried back. Wouldn't you know it? So there's a white bit on his throat 
right here. Oh, this is really, really bright white that I'm still struggling to get. I don't really know what, what else I can do. I can only apply white. Well, it's not like it's zinc white or anything. It is titanium white. It's just doesn't want to give me that real zingy white. Just right down into that there. Just dry brush. I brush it. It'll give you the effect that you want. Oh, this bit here has got a bit of a shadow on it too. It's got a bit of a shadow on him. A bit grey. Come on, let's have that. A bit more. A bit more grey in me grey. It's coming from that bit of shadow that we already had there. Well, I honestly don't think there's a whole lot more I can do. You see anything that needs sorting just to fix it. So I know that I've got the brush in my hand. Yeah, it probably needs to be white actually. Because of the bright studio lights, you, you know, the camera's not really picking up no. all of the shading, even though I can see it on the picture. There is more shading on it than it would appear on camera. I mean, you could do it black and white, you know. Just don't worry about any of the uh, any of the shading at all. Just do it black and white. Um, do I need to go around his eye anymore? Yeah. Right, well, we've had a good discussion about the penguin. And what I'm seeing here, I'm looking now, is not what Mr. Fixit's seen on screen. And therefore, what you're seeing on screen. Um, he says that this was nice and yellow before I went back into it with a dry brush. In real life, it still looks yellow, but I'm going to go over that. So as it on the screen, it looks like it's got form instead of just... So we'll start with that. Um, it doesn't need a lot. It doesn't want a lot. And it's just this yellow ochre. I'm just going to mix a bit of white in through it because it's quite a dark colour. So I think that's probably about fine. Might just add a touch of that yellow, just brighten it up a bit. Yeah, I think that's a good, good colour. So we're just going to Put this yellow sort of chest in that he's got and that's a nice colour for him actually it's nice um, almost goldy sort of colour and it comes down to this very bright white line that we've got or haven't got but I now know what I'm doing so we'll rectify that I hope you're reassured in the fact that I now know what I'm doing Whereas I didn't before. And it comes up here, but I'm leaving that shading at the back of his neck because uh, it's right into it, of course. You don't want a straight line. But that's fine. I 
I think that's okay like that. I might put a white bit in there, but I'll leave that to dry first. So the next, for my next trick, I want to, because I want that to look bright white, I'm going to have to grey down this one. Which is still a bit damp actually. Um, and I quite want my new brush for that. So I'm going to make a grey that's darker than white and lighter than that. Which isn't difficult because we've got... Look at that effect on there. Do you see that where it's wicked up? Yep. That is beautiful. So I'm just going to take a bit of my bone black and loads of white. Like a lake of white. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that's I think that's okay. It's just not quite white. It's still showing that shadow up. So we're all right there. I knew this blooming penguin wasn't going to end up black and white. I just knew it. I've already done an hour today, so I thought, oh, I'll go for something really easy. I'll do a penguin. <laughs> if any of you have watched the duckling that I did, that was easy and short. <laughs> well, for me, it was an hour, which for me is pretty good. So I'm just going to... Just mess with that line that we've got for his, where it goes under to his feet. There is quite a dark line there actually. But I think by putting that in it's helped it. Yeah, that's better. Now you've knocked that weight off. Now you can see. Now you can see more or less what I can see. So this yellow bit at the top is a bit a bit yellow, so I'm just gonna take some white. Probably still got some grey in my brush actually. Um take some white and I'm it's just a bit there under his chin. That's white. Wipe your brush off. Pull that down. So you're just dry brushing that in. And there's a another bit just where this comes up and starts to catch the light. Just there. It doesn't need any more than that. That's enough. Oh, you can't see that, but it's there. I'll put it on so you can see it. That's the way forward. It's here. It's really difficult for you to see, but it, it's there. It's given tonality to the to his yellow, the yellow around his head. So let's go once more into, I've got some white here. And let's just go for this very, very bright white. That sort of comes down in the middle. Just fades away into that uh, shadow there. Yeah, we have a bright white line. Anything to say, Mr. Earth, on the subject? No, I think that looks better. Than the other one. Yeah, tell me what he needs, where he needs it, and I'll sort it. Do you think this shadow needs to be darker? 
down from this notch on his shoulder whereas you've got it right. sort of more over here okay I think it, it's thinner oh, I'll mix this up tell me what tell me again from his shoulder from there yeah it comes from that notch doesn't it right so it's not quite as far over as you've got it I managed to mix one that's flipping identical So from here. Yeah, I think that's better. I like his neckline better now. I think that's better. Yeah, I think we painted us a uh, penguin. So the question I asked actually was, do I need to do anything else to his eye? Does that ring around it need to be lighter or? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Does he need a glint in it? Everybody needs a glint in their eye. What? Put him on some eyes. Nothing to do now, but I know I was thinking of putting him on some eyes. Like floating in mid -air. Yeah, I was thinking I that think as in well. Line with his feet, it needs some. Doesn't need to come up as far as the snow on the yeah. feet necessarily. I was thinking that. So what I need for that is some green. Some ultramarine. Yeah, he is. I know I was thinking that. He's a bit lost, isn't he? Um, I just need to mix that with some white. I'll, try, I'll chance that bit that's already got blinking. Um, I shall move that down to there. That's probably an easier thing to do. Looking at me, this is going to be yeah, it's too close to the white to the original colour. I think it's going to have to be just white, despite the fact ice is kind of blue, isn't it? Ice. He's on snow, is he? You've decided. That's what the picture's telling me. White, white, go for white.
So another one to add to our British birds then. Edinburgh Zoo. It could be Edinburgh Zoo or Regent's Park. Or a tuna sandwich. Or nothing. Hey. But a tuna sandwich would be there. Would be there, yeah. Do you want to hear the story? Yes. Okay. When I was a little girl in the 60s, I know I don't look that old, but I am. Um, we we were going to Edinburgh Zoo, and it was a it was a huge day out for us. Um, we didn't get to go anywhere really very often. We didn't have a car or anything. We lived in the back of beyond, as I still do. Um, it's quite nice with some of that blue stuff coming through. Okay. Not a mighty doubt entirely. Okay. Sorry. Um. No, I'm going to save that story. I'm nearly finished. You just have to wait, guys. It's quite a funny story, but I'll tell you it another day. It involves a tuna sandwich, a penguin, and my mother. You've got the story pretty much already. Right, okay. He's standing on snow. Do you think I've cut his feet off? I haven't cut his feet no. off. Okay. Happy feet. Happy de happiness to fix it. I think he looks all right, actually. He looks all right. Isn't it funny how that looks so much whiter than that? This is an optical illusion and it's driving me mad. It's driving me mad. As if it wasn't mad enough. I can do no more. There he is. Our completed penguin. I actually quite like him. I enjoyed doing him. He was good fun. Thanks very much, Mr. Penguin. Right, okay, I shall bid you adieu. I'll see you very soon with some more of our British birds, which will be British, actually, next time. Um, have a pleasant day, and I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks for